Okay, so this is a set of calculations for a practice problem. And the first set we're going to do is direct age adjustment. So here's the problem. And this is the way you're going to receive it in your, your, your little, what I call your salvation practice items. Because it will help save you if you're having a bad semester so far academically. So here's the problem. Below our data for mortality in two populations. The first population is from the older period. The second population is from the newer period. Researchers at the Rodriguez Institute are concerned because of differences in crude mortality rates between the two populations. We believe mortality rates should be higher in the older period than in the newer period. However, the mortality rate per 100,000 people is 2.001 point double oh seven in the older period and twenty three oh three point seven four five in the newer period contradicting our expectations with better health care in current in the current period shouldn't the should the mortality rate be lower i say shouldn't it be lower we believe that this difference may reflect differences in population distribution per period your job is to test this hypothesis by calculating the age adjusted mortality rates for each population to see if they differ from the crude mortality rates. The data you need to calculate the age adjusted mortality rates for each group are presented in table one. But actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on calculating the age adjusted mortality rate for the older period and we'll compare it to, and I won't do that calculation, but I will calculate it anyway, but I won't show you the calculation for the recent period. So we're going to focus on the older period. So Let's go through this step by step here. And, and I already did the calculation, so that's to, to make it a little easier for all of us. So this is the first problem. So I, I do it in a step by step fashion. First, we need to the standard population. So there's many ways to do the standard population. The easiest way is to add together the populations from each period and create your standard population. The rates that are calculated per, for each population are based on those population values, not on, the sta on a standard population. So they may differ because of the distribution of individuals within each age group. So that we don't know yet. So let's start by creating this standard population. So we're going to add together the population from each period within each stratum. So for instance, for four, I think this is 4,535,884 plus 2,033,000 plus 37,377 gives you somewhere around 6,858,261. So that's sort of how we're doing it. So we're adding these together. The total, this is the total population for the older period. This is the total population, just adding together the stratum specific the stratum specific population values in the recent period and then adding together the standard values we get the total standardized population which is 19,649,417 okay so now we want to calculate the crude mortality rates so the crude ones they ignore all the 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 values from the different strata the population distribution per stratum and they just they completely ignore that. So when we calculate the the crude rates, we're just basing everything on the total, on the totals. So to calculate the total, the, excuse me, the crude mortality rates for each population, we do the following. We take the total number of deaths. So again, we're ignoring the deaths per stratum, and we divide it by the total population for whatever that that group is, like for instance, for the older period, and then for the recent period, and we multiply that by 100,000. So let's look at the older period. So I'm going to go back to our first, to our, excuse me, to our problem in our table. So in the older period, we had 216,570 deaths, and this was the population value. And in the newer period, we had 203,377 deaths, and this is the population value. So going back to my calculations, I use those values, right? I use those values to calculate the the crude mortality rates. So again, I'm I'm completely ignoring the distribution across the different different age groups. I'm just giving using the total as my denominator. And the same with my deaths. Okay, so we have 
this is the this, this is the these are the age adjusted mortality rates for the older period and then for the younger period so we see that mortality's mortality rate is higher in the recent period than it was in the older period again that's confounding to us because we think okay wait a minute in the old days people had worse medical care so how could their mortality rates be lower than the mortality rates now so it may may have something to do with age so that's what we have to look at so let's calculate the age specific rates per population so we're, we're going to do both the older period and the recent period although for our interest i'm more interested in the older period for our excuse me for our uh, for our purposes so we do this within each age range so we're going to make we're going to calculate the age specific mortality rate so for those who are 20 to 29 years old we had 49,422 deaths and the population value in the older period was 45 million uh, oh, excuse me, uh, 4,538,884. If you're wondering where did I get that, let's go back to the table here. So this is the amount of deaths that we had in the older period, and this is their population value. So I'm using these two to calculate the, the stratum-specific mortality rate. And I do that for each of the different strata. So there's three different strata here, right? 20 to 29, 30 to 49, and 50 plus and the same in the recent period we have three different strata so there that's what we're doing we're calculating those stratum specific mortality rates so now that we have these rates to calculate the expected we use these rates to calculate the expected number of deaths based on the standard population so let's go to the next picture here so this is what we have to do to calculate the expected number of deaths so we know how many people died based on the true population values for the older period and for the newer period. We'd like to know what the number of deaths would be if, if those mortality rates within each of those two specific populations were applied to the standard population. So that's what we're doing here. So we take the rate per 100,000 that we have and multiply it by the standard population for that stratum and then divide it by 100,000. The reason we divide by 100,000, it's because it's the rate per 100,000, right? So we multiply to get this rate by 100,000. We have to divide by 100,000 to eliminate that. Okay, so in the older period, 20 to 29, the mortality rate was 1089.574 per 100,000. We multiply it by the standard population for 20 to 29, which is 6,858,261, and we divide by 100,000. If you're wondering where did I get those values, well, you'd have to go back to the previous, previous figure here where we did calculate the standard population. You see from 20 to 29, we added together the older Press the recent to get 6,858,261. So that's where I got that value from. Okay, so we did that and divide by 100,000. So we get 7, 7, uh, 74,726.11. That's the expected number of deaths in the older period based on applying the older periods mortality rate to the standard population. And we do that for the second one, for 30 to 49. We do that for 50 plus. Now we sum across the different strata because we want to get the total expected number of deaths. We're only going to get, get one number at the end, right? The total expected deaths in the, in the older population is the expected number of deaths. So we got Seven four seven two six point one one plus one one zero two seven eight point two plus one four five four zero one point nine and that equals oh, so it's three hundred. 330,000 
330,406.21. So I had 0.3 here. I, must have, I was using a different calculator. So there should be a little dot here, a little period. So let's rem rem remember that. So it's not 3 million. It's, it's um, 330,406.3. Okay, finally, we're going to calculate the age-adjusted mortality rate. So we're going to take the total expected deaths. So it's this value. Yeah, I have it right here. 330406.3. And we're going to divide it by that popula standard population total, which I just gave you a moment ago, and multiply that by 100,000. So we want to get it back into that per 100,000 population. So we get 1681.5067. So 1681.5067. Deaths per 100,000 population. So that's in the older period. The re more recent period now, so I, I just went ahead and did this calculation so we could make a comparison. It was 1,607.303. You'll notice that it's reversed. Pre previously, it, it was actually larger in the recent period, it was 2303.745 versus the older period, which was 2001. 0.007, so it was larger before. So once we did the age adjustment, so once we corrected for age, we see that we had a reversal of those values. And this may be because there are more older people in the more recent population than there were in the older population. As more, with more older people, you're gonna have more deaths. So we see the population distribution has changed. So there's more older people 50 above than there were at the in, in the more recent period than there were at the older period. Okay, that's it for this video. All right, and this, so again, this is called the direct age adjustment. I'll, I'll do another one in a different problem in a separate video shortly.